hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i'll show you how you can easily add glow or shine to your images in just photoshop i know i made this tutorial some time back and the audio wasn't really that nice because i was testing some new equipment that i got and i really got some little negative comments about the audio and i just hope this really sounds well to you guys and i just hope you learn i'm just trying to redo this very or specific, uh, specific tutorial so i'm just going to show you how you can easily add glow or shine to your images within photoshop after doing skin retouching and you can see this is the after skin retouching and some little bit of color grading and now we just want to add that nice glow to the skin of our model so what we want to do i'm just going to come right here to the curves adjustment layer right here and just click on it so we don't do any adjustment right on this curves adjustment we're just going to leave it the way it looks right now so after doing that we're just going to come right here to select and we come down to color range so when you come to color range it is going to open up another dialog box for us and you can see right now this is the range in which the image is falling so you have to make sure to set up some little things within this color range window so the first thing we want to set up is make sure you select sample sampled colors and after doing that make sure localized color clusters has not been checked and make sure selection mode is also active and right here make sure quick mask has been selected and also the invert option should it be checked right here it shouldn't be checked so with the eyedropper tool selected the first one right here we are first of all going to target the shadows in this very image so in order to target the shadows you are simply going to get the eyedropper tool and if at all your eyedropper tool is showing like this make sure you press the caps lock key to deactivate that effect so make sure you have the eyedropper tool looking like this and the sample size has to be three by three of or five by five average so after doing that we're just going to come right down and we're going to select the shadows of this image so by simply clicking we can simply sample the colors so when you sample the colors right now you can see even the mask right here is going to be changing as you're clicking on different areas so for example if at all we just want to sample the shadows you can see the sampled area in the shadow area is going to display in white right here so this is going to be more of the target area which is going to be in white so you can just come right here and turn down the fuzziness depending on what you are really go going in for so the fuzziness is going to be or show you the range in which you want that effect to be so at around 50 or 60 that is the fine one for me and just come and click on ok right here and after doing that just come to this midpoint remember we have just sampled the shadows in the image so for shadows remember we just click right in the middle and we simply take it down to darken the shadows and you can see while doing this you can see it adds that nice and rich glow but at the same time it dodges and burns the image it adds that shape and dimension to the image while also adding that nice and beautiful glow to the skin of our model so after doing that you just you can just come and close that and you're going to name that to dodge or you can name it to shadows so i'm just going to name this to dodge or you can name it to shadows and we are going to do the same for the brightest areas or the highlights in the image so just going to come back to the curves adjustment layer and just come to select and come back to color range so this time around we are not going to set this because they are already going to be saved for us so with the eyedropper tool selected just come and click on the brightest areas and you can so when you click on the brightest areas it displays the mask in white right here in the preview so after doing that just come right here to okay and just click on that or you can play around with the fuzziness if at all you feel like 
the range is not good enough so click in the middle and this time around since we want to brighten the highlights or add that nice and rich glow to the highlights click in the mod in the middle rather and just brighten up the highlights just like that and we're just going to simply close this and you can come to this and double click and simply name it to so this was for your shadows we had to name it to burn rather not dodge so we had to name it to burn remember we burn the shadows and we dodge the highlights so this is going to be our dodge dodge layer right here and you're going to name it all highlights just like that so after doing that when you feel like the intensity is a little bit too much for your liking you can come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity of a given layer or if at all you feel like your glow is affecting the colors in the image you can come and change the blend mode from normal to luminosity and in that case it is not going to be affecting the color values in your image so we're just going to group these two layers by hitting ctrl command g on the keyboard and we can name this to glow just like that and right now let me show you a quick before and after so this is the before and after before after so basically this is how to add nice and rich glow to your images in just photoshop and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating